Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will explain until successful scope. With the help of demo, I will explain when and why we should use until successful scope. In a mule flow, if we need to use external resource and connectivity to this resource is not guaranteed. For example, if we need to write a file to FTP server, or if we need to invoke an external web service and availability of this service have issue. To handle these scenarios, we need to use until successful scope and invocation of these tasks, execution of these requests, we need to put inside until successful scope. Until successful scope have a property called max retry. We can set this property for example, we can set this value to 5. In that case, until successful scope will keep executing these requests until it succeeds or it completes all 5 attempts. If until successful succeeds, in that case, all the component that comes after this until successful scope will execute. But if until successful does not succeed, by using all the five attempts, then until successful will throw an error. Now I will demo the until successful scope in any point studio. So let's go to the any point studio. I will add a mule project. I will give the name until successful. Demo. I will click finish. I will drag HTTP listener. I will add connector configuration. I will keep these values default. I will add a path slash demo. Now, if we are invoking external web service, I need a HTTP request component. And if external web service have a availability issue, then it's better to wrap uh, inside until successful. So until successful will gracefully check the connectivity and raise the error or succeed. But uh, I do not have any external web service which gives the intermittent uh, connectivity issue. To show the all until successful scenario, I will use a file connector for this demo purpose. So I will remove these connectors. And I will add a file write operation. I will create a connector configuration. I will add a connection. I will give the working directory. Mule data output is my working directory. And I will give a path is output payload dot json. This is my path output file name. Now I will add a logger and I will add a transport message. In the logger, I will just uh, log file written successfully and in the payload I will create a JSON payload and I will send a simple message to the caller. File written successfully. I will save the project. I will run it. While it is getting deployed, let me recap. I added HTTP listener. I added a file write operation and I just built a JSON message to, to inform the caller that file written successfully. Let me show you the output folder. There, there is nothing there inside output folder. Okay, our application has been deployed. Clean the console and go to the postman. I will invoke the demo resource. 
and I will send a post method and send the JSON body. So I'm going to create a JSON request, simple JSON request, small name David. Amount twenty five hundred. I will click send button. Okay, we got the message file written successfully. Console, we got the right message file written successfully from this logger. And in output folder, we can see the new file. And we send this message from Postman. Now I will introduce the connection error. So I will make few changes. I will change this create parent directory from true to false. That means if output directory does not exist, it will give an error because it will not create it. I will remove this file from output directory. I will rename the output directory to output one. That means output directory does not exist. Now if I will invoke this resource again, demo resource again, it should fail. So let me save the project, go to the postman, let me invoke it. So we got the issue, working directory does not exist. Go to the console and we can see the error, working directory does not exist. And we got the error type file, file does not exist. Now to handle this, I will add a until successful scope i will put this right operation in inside un, until successful and here in property of until successful max retry is fine millisecond between retries means this much time it will wait before making second retry i will change this to 10 seconds i will save it application should be redeploying Go back here, we can see that output directory is empty. Output one directory is empty and we don't have output directory. So we have issue. Let me clean the console. Let me call this from postman. Okay. So now because we have a connection issue, so until successful is retrying, it will retry five times and then it will raise an error because it will not succeed in five times because output directory does not exist. So here I want to show you if five retry is completed, then it will raise the error. So I'm going to show you that how until successful throw error when it cannot succeed in the max try attempt. So this is the last attempt, we got the error, mule retry existed, this is the error we get. Let me clean the console, we can see we still we don't have output directory, I will go to postman, I will invoke it again. Now before it complete fourth attempt. I will change the folder name from output one to output and that way I will resolve the connection issue and it should succeed after fourth attempt. Okay, now I'm going to rename it. Okay, now there's no connection issue. Let me see. So we got file written successfully because there was no connection issue. So control came here. It logged the message. Then it came here, build the message, file written successfully. And that we should see here. In postman, we can see that file written successfully. 
in the output folder that's observed there so we got the file and we can see the payload so let me recap when until successful fails means it try all five time and it does not succeed then it throws the error and if it is succeed before uh, number of max retry then the other component that comes after until successful they will continue executing this is all in this video i hope you like this video if you understood this concept then please subscribe the channel and hit the like button thank you very much